Oh, hello everyone. Today I have come up with this program which is called PhD in Management. Uh, it's not uh, the management program which you generally see. Sorry, it's not the PhD program that you generally see in other university or in other subjects. It's PhD in Management. Why it is unique that uh, for PhD in Management, you don't have to have a master's in management or you don't have to have a MBA degree. But again, if you have MBA degree, then again, you are eligible to go for PhD in management. But in IIMs or uh, many other institutions, if you are four-year graduate, uh, five-year graduate, uh, three plus two, where you have done the graduation of three-year and two-year master program, or BDS, BAMS, any such degree, if you have any such degree, then you are eligible to uh, go for this particular PhD program, which is from IAMS. And which seems very absurd because you might be thinking like for a PhD in, in physics, you need to have a master degree in physics only. But this is particularly for management, which is a very interdisciplinary program. And with time, management has been able to accommodate many subjects or many aspects of socioeconomic um, socioeconomic uh, environment or or economic economics to it. So basically, uh, if any graduate who is coming out from any subject can find something in management for his PhD or her PhD. So of course the idea is to be the next generation management guru. I'll not be explaining this term management guru today. But uh, everybody knows that in society, in business, in economy, these particular researchers or teachers, academicians play a big role. So if you are convinced with the program, you can always prepare at smart education for the entrance process. But first of all, uh, let me explain you uh, what this program is and uh, what are the advantages that you get with this program. So. Oh, like I already have explained that this program is for everyone and you don't have to have a MBA degree before PhD in management. And, and the reason behind that, even in IIMs, you'll be see, seeing that uh, the research area or the uh, area of research that they have mentioned, it's not just operations, marketing, HR, and other management functions, but uh, all the IIMs have uh, other areas also like economics, policy, development, education, and some also have social science-based areas. So, so you can find the application of management or utility of management in all these subjects. And with the, the interdisciplinary approach, you will be able to solve many uh, burning questions that we have in society that is being barrier to our development. Okay, so, uh, the key outcome of this slide is like if any if you are if you have a, a PG degree or a, a four year engineering graduate or you are a medical graduate you all can go for PhD in management. So what are the advantages if you go for PhD in management? So we need to understand the general structure of PhD program in India. In India, if you want to pursue PhD program, you have to qualify NET or, or any university entrance test for research, RAT, generally it is called RAT. And if you are able to score very high to qualify for JRF, then only you'll be getting this UGC scholarship of JRF. Otherwise, you will not get the UGC scholarship. You'll be getting whatever the amount that institution, they, institution pays as per their own research grant. So the, the institution-based fellowship might be as low as 10,000 to 15,000 per month. But if UGC is paying, you'll be getting around 35,000 per month with other benefits also. But in IAMS, it's not like that. If you are qualified for the PhD, you'll be getting the regular fellowship, whatever is being defined at IAMS. And that is, again, more than or equivalent to UGC JRF. But this, this money will not be uh, dispersed by UGC. The institution will pay by 
themselves. So instructions will be by themselves. So you don't have to uh, go for UGC net. So you have to just get admission there and you'll be start getting fellowship. Other advantage is that, uh, let's say if you are four year graduates and if you, are, you have dropped a year or two and, and prepared for UPSC or any such exam and now you want to go for job or uh, some professional degree. So if you go for PhD now, uh, this two years, like, like anyone who is doing his graduation and two years post-graduation, then going for PhD, so after PhD, it will be equivalent to them also. So it's like a redemption of gap year. Uh, you have taken your chance for UPSC or other exams. You could not qualify. Now you can, or even if you have uh, done some job or, or gather some experience, now you can directly go to PhD program. So basically, this is a kind of redemption. And uh, let's say you are a, a main, uh, let's say, geography. And now you want to go for PhD, so you don't have to do an MBA. So basically, it's, it's escape from doing double master. Many of the times we have seen that uh, a postgraduate student comes to us to go for uh, MBA or uh, master's in public policy. So they will be uh, doing their master's again, maybe some professional in some professional post to get job. But again, if you go for PhD, you will not have to do the master's again, you will direct be professional by doing your PhD. And the one thing that was uh, institutional fellowship that I've already explained that everyone who gets mission in that, they will be getting that institutional fellowship. And this program is very interdisciplinary, so you'll never get bored. You will be able to bring many of your interest area into your research also. So, so it gives you a chance to live uh, what you like or, or do what you like. So now the thing is that how will be how you will be able to get in to this PhD program. So if you'll see all the websites of IAMS, you'll find that uh, they take uh, all the national level test scores like CAT, uh, GATE, NET. They also take international level scores also like GMAT and GRE. And uh, IMB, Institute of Management Bangalore, they also conduct this test, IMB test, which is being accepted by four to five IAMS. And uh, many of the IAMs also have their uh, specific uh, research aptitude test. So the choice of test will depend upon where you are good at. Like, like if you are some, like if you are from sociology and you are very good at sociology, then you can appear for gate in psychology, sociology, or net. So any of these two score will work. But but if you are from uh, uh, any subject where the qualifying net is very difficult or qualifying get is very difficult or get doesn't have that subject. In that case, you should go for either CAT and, and uh, IMB test. And again, uh, since the CAT form, uh, like the last date of CAT form was 20th September. So now you cannot not apply for CAT. So if you're very serious, then you can appear for IMB test, which is the date of that is still there, like the system form is still open. And you can also go for GMAT or GRE for November and December so that you can apply in the month of January. And this also is there, but it is very specific to the institute. So uh, whatever institute you are looking for, the IAMS you are looking for, you have to check that whether they provide, uh, they have a research interest, uh, research interest test or not. So let's talk about career. Uh, you can check the websites of all the IAMS. Uh, they provide career or the options for PhD graduates, uh, both of both options are there for PhD graduates, corporate and academic. Uh, in corporate, like most of the institutions or, or companies, those who are looking for research, uh, research profile, or uh, in academics, there will always be a dearth of good academics in India. You, you have seen that there are institutions which are not having enough resources for teaching their students. So in academics and in research and consulting, all the options are open for you. So now let's come to the part where you may think like that we are marketing this program also, marketing ourselves also. So it's true. Uh, what happens when a, when a person is not from MBA management background and then they try to do PhD in management, there are a lot of things they have to do. Like they have to visualize that what are the application of their subject is there in management. 
how to prepare for the entrance test, how to write synopsis. Not You don't have to write the entire synopsis, but you have to give the research idea to the institution that you have to write in subjective way. So in all these processes, and there will be also an interview. So in all these processes, uh, you need a good help, uh, a, a well-guided help. And, and uh, we are... Uh, we have actually guided our students for many PhD entrances and many PhD program, not only in India, but uh, outside India also. So finding the area where you want to do research or uh, uh, writing synopsis for that and uh, giving interview or presentation for that, it's very typical and you have to prepare as per, uh, as per or as uh, you are a, a research aspirant. So in all these, we help you. We also help you in test prep. So you can contact us for detail if you are willing to, to join our program or uh, we have opened our uh, like admissions for 2025. So if any one of you wants to join a PhD program in next year, uh, June 25, they may start their program from June 25. So they can come call us and know how they, uh, how they can join us. Sir. They will be preparing at Spark and uh, what are our processes? How do we help you? All these things you can know by calling on this number. Okay, thank you.